All right, well, let's continue my adventures with the Sovereign Gentlemen's. Now let's just skip the, you know, wall text and just, you know, jump right to it. I'm going to skip the scroll of warrants for a little bit. I'm going to try hitting down here at the, uh... Temple of Shame. Now, I think I'm going to do a couple things for this episode. I've been, like, you know, throw using throwing a fit and, like, you know, uh... Whooping ass. I wonder what throwing a fit is really good for though. Like grab someone next to you and toss them your ass or uh, the kettle. I wonder how that sort of works that one. I took a hit. And yeah, these guys are getting more experience down the green slimes, guys. I've leveled up. Yeah. Kill that. I don't have dungeon sensing yet, so... Just gotta make sure there's no secret passages around and such. I bet this door here is a good prevention. It wasn't anyways to begin with. <clears throat> so, what I really want to do here is sort of test out my, uh... Ability to throw stuff around. So let's try this. We're gonna try throwing this guy. So you throw him around a little bit, I guess. And possibly stun. So that's like what this is good for. This seems like a really weak skill, to be honest, throwing a fit. I'm actually going to put it off so I don't use it, because I don't think it's worth using. What's this do? Start swing while at ramp enemies within five tiles, dashing towards them if possible. I wonder what that would do. Let's see. Yes, hit me. Dare I say, hit me. All right, well, everything's cleared. Missed an item apparently, but we'll just pick it up. Blandles. I'm just gonna keep going. So let's do. Oh, our is bring down. All of it burns down because I'm not doing anything with it. You know, like kind of like, kind of like the rage in like other games where like you know if you're not actively using it, it just starts to go down by itself. I mean, the Sour Gentleman's is all about speed, not about, you know, like, you know. <clears throat> Thinking. Kill that. There's a sweeping great axe. It's interesting, interesting being able to not worry about bleeding damage for sure on this character. But I don't think it's worth it losing the turns. Wake up. 
kill you. I don't care about fire, I'll walk through it. Get my ire up. Uh, there's a champion. Alright, this is a good time to maybe... Use a potion? That was the champion, apparently. Yeah. Oh wow, my R keeps going up. So my chantry keep, keeps uh, increasing. So as you take hits while you're, you know, in a, you know, that sort of state, you just keep going. That's interesting. Yeah, my arrow goes down if I'm not doing anything, apparently. That was fun. Lots and lots of fun. Alright, let's go find some more champions to fight. Broke my armor, bastard. What's this, the book... Lots of books. That's one bad thing about this character. I can't really catch up to stuff that runs away from me. Oh, I killed a champion already. My ire, but oh well. So, ire is one of those resources that I should be using quite frequently, I think, on his character. Abuse! Using those guys is done. All right, um, I guess we'll go south. that and we're done all right well to next level maximum ire all right I leveled up uh, not yet able to get this That sounds interesting, but let's see here. Possibly gives you a bonus to dodge for one round after you're hit, meaning that blows after first less likely to connect. That looks cool. Let's get that.
Get review. Now here's a question. Because I, I skipped turns, does that mean like, you know, um, my bonus will uh, keep going until my my turn comes back or will it uh, only be the one turn that, you know, a skip for me? Or the one turn and like the other turn it will be a new turn. Okay, got all them. That's a champion. He went through a barrel, apparently. Oh, that sucks. He didn't do anything, so... Do that. Well, you're dead. <clears throat> Thought I might have trouble with him, but I didn't. Do 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 do. Plink. Try and believe me. Just try. Well, you can bleed to death. I'll go with that. Let's go up this point and get the door I missed. So that's done. Go this way next. You picked the wrong line of work, Dungeon Man. You could have been rich. When I kill you, I take your stuff and then I'll be rich. That sounds right. Let's go with uh, this to begin with. Let him get closer and fire, 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 fire. There's a debuff on you. Wow, I already killed him. That's good to know. The, the quick wit actually lets you uh, repel that. So if he tries to attack you, you uh, get a free hit on him. That's all done. And there we go. Well, that's it for this dungeon. That was nice and quick. My R is ticking down, but oh well. That's gonna happen. And apparently I'm still going to scro scroll about Warrens. I'm actually just going to book it, I think. I'll find a way down, I'll kill the boss. I mean, I could loot, loot everything, but I don't think it's worth my time. I mean, I'm getting like six copper, 
A little bit of silver. Yeah, it's not worth my time. Let's get going. We have found some champions or a book. That might might make it worth it to look around, but I suppose the scrolls are worth it too. Maybe I will look around. I'll kill the I'll kill the boss just to be cheeky. Wherever the boss is. Now these things don't only hurt me. This holds it still, little guy. Make it easy for both of us. All right, let's activate this, that. And he's already dead. Nothing to it. But yeah, if I want to, I could go around and kill all this stuff. I guess there is some stuff to pick up, so it's sort of worth it. Here's like, you know, oh, not part of this game. It doesn't seem to have a whole lot of grindiness to this game, but it does have some. I mean, like the Scroll of Warns, for example. I suppose that's by nature just because of the fact that the game um, has like that chemistry set and they want to make sure you're able to get it, so. They have it so that you can go through it. Regardless of where you're outleveled it or not. Whatever, we'll go look around for books and stuff. I got experience from that guy. That guy too. Okay, there's an item. And we're done. But it's basically pillings for experience here. In comparison to everything else I've been picking up. So I guess it's probably best to go for the scroll of warn as fast as possible on future runs. Done. I still haven't looked at the description for Scribble uh, Shamans, I don't think. I guess I have. We'll regenerate itself our allies, fires, puny, pulls, and boom.
Missed it. Alright, up we go. Yeah, zero experience for these guys now, because, you know, they, I basically out-level them. They're trivial. So much stuff to pick up in the scroll warns, though. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I guess it wasn't, wasn't that long to go through it just because I'm so damn powerful. Well, that's done. I'm all five. And turn stuff. There's nine books. Let's get to spending. A little bit more strength. More strength is good. And let's see here. I've got myself one hand swords up there. I still haven't really found a good bow yet, which is a bit of an issue, but oh well. Defeats block and parry. And the fight columns defeat armor. So the question is, which is worse? Blocks and parries or your armor? Put that on. There's some trash. That's it, goodbye. All right, let's get going. What is there left to clear? At this point, you know, I got the stuff down there. I still yet to visit, but whatever. I think it's the tougher stuff. Let's kill these bands over in this direction. Those guys. Fire! Fire at me, you! I dare you to fire! You're gonna abuse my non bleeding abilities. Rip your wit. Defeat your guy's thing. Hey, cool, you can actually do that in the stand position like that. Cool, I killed him. Nothing to it. Do, do, do. So here's something to note. These are actually pretty damn powerful abilities that, that the Southern Gentleman has. 
I'll have to note that it's worth taking those on my other characters. Have I been here to uh, bump you up? All right, well, if you're as prosperous as you can be, I'll just move on. Do 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 do, we'll go here. Visit all the other towns. Apparently I've never been here before, so that town's now as prosperous as it's gonna be ever. them. It's going to be awesome when I get a new bow. I think I'll do a lot of damage with it. Rip your wit. Done. This easy stuff I'm picking off right now. Done with him. All right, that's done. Sure, I'll face these guys in battle. Oops. Ripper Wick go and hey, these guys are nothing to me. Perfect. Still some more stuff to kill. Nothing to it. That's all done. There's of course my uh, initial dungeon mans. Now if I go up here, or well, wasn't here, I guess it's down here. You'll notice that the purloined inventory is still there, so this stuff actually carried over. If I want to, I could use that to, like, you know, get a jump start and stuff, but there's really no need, so I'll just let it sit there. Oh, there's my dead corpse in one of those uh, places up there. Is that where I died? I forget. I might have died up there. Do, 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 do. I suppose it's time to go back and do stuff. Let's go here, I guess. Talk to you. I have no idea who a Doom Talker is, but he's singing a nice little song. Have I been here yet? Do 
Drop that stuff there. Alright, now where to go? Found to the open battlefield. They tried to bleed me, but they fail. Do 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 do. Oh, that's convenient. So that's all done. I think that'll be it for this specific episode. Just a nice quick episode to, again, catch up. Hey, proof internal. So there we go. I got my strength up to, uh, or my, my um, proof of strength up to 50. So I got achievement for it. Get the spending. There. Let's see here, I uh, got this, put that on. Got hacker ring. Take that off, put that on instead. There's magic fred bracers, don't care. A flame venice freezing sweeping great axe. That is awesome, I think. There's a tortoise shell bangle, don't really care about that. Getting less AP per round on top of getting less AP per round would be suicidal, I think, so we're not going to do that. And I keep forgetting not to melt the ba the bangles. They really should make it so rings don't melt. Just so that you can, like, you know, sell them. Alright, let's go in here. I'm just going to... Let's look at this stuff. We're actually going to lock these. I'm going to decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. I'm actually going to think about selling some of these stuff, I think. Keep that. Don't really care. Sure, we'll keep this. No, oh, we'll keep the bark skin too. Keep healing. Don't care about heartburn. Keep you, keep you, keep you. Never really used these. I think that might be wor worth it if I ever decide to use it. Uh, sure. Beckon all monsters. Never actually used that. I should see what it's all about. I'm not sure this is worth keeping. The bees, please. We're not going to worry about it. Get rid of that. Or keep that, rather. Yeah, this is all stuff I'm going to basically keep. Lock that for now, but I'm not sure if I really care about that. All right, let's go down to a town. I'm gonna sell some stuff. What stuff? What? I don't know where. To battle, sure. Ah, oh, I died pretty quick. And three monsters, four monsters, we'll kill them all. Mirrored Scrum. There's a healing potion. Did 
Done. A little bit of experience for all my troubles. Sure, I'll kill these guys too. I should keep with the rose because it makes it a lot easier to fight uh, ambushes and stuff. Do do do. That's done. Alright, time to sell stuff. The reason I'm selling it is because I don't really use this stuff, so... Yeah. Yes. 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 Here's a question, how do you sell it all, I wonder? Rust on these scrolls, apparently. Alright, there we go. It's a lot of stuff. Didn't really get much money for it. Before I go, actually, I should go check out the shops. Okay, you've got just maces and stuff. They're all one-handed hammers, apparently. That's a nice little thing, but whatever. There's a dark steel crescent sword, but whatever. And you've got staves. I don't use staves, unfortunately. And you've got bows. Well, I'm not going to worry about it too much. They don't have anything worth buying, really, for me. Yeah, there's no bows really worth buying from these guys. Unfortunate, but oh well. Well, next time... I'll jump in one of these places, I guess. I'll see how I do. Until then, take care.